you said you were frustrated by bookkeeping. I'm sure if you've ever managed a person in your business and then at the end of the month or bi-weekly, they wanted a paycheck and you're like, oh crap, what, how do I do this? You know, that's a whole new skill set that uh, I, you have to read up upon. You have to know the current legislation. You know, someone's got sick due to COVID. Now, how do you manage that? So the tip I have here is, is really just outsource it. You know, there's very low cost ways to outsource your payroll to services like JB Funk Consulting. Um, Payworks is a software based company that will do it for you. Even QuickBooks has software that will, will do the payroll, at least if you did it yourself. I mean, it will help you to, to organize that payroll. And then at the end of the year, you have to file those T4s. So it's a complicated complicated thing and a lot of business owners I find get behind on the tax man with their payroll source deductions. Yeah, it can be kind of complicated, uh, especially with government websites and trying to do it yourself. And it's Friday and the painters want their paycheck, you know, so outsourcing the payroll. Does that cost a lot? Is that a big endeavor? I mean, it's it's reasonable uh, for a, a small business. I, I guess ran this number by you again is, is managing by the numbers. You should allocate 3% of your revenues to accounting and bookkeeping in general. So if you set aside 3% for accounting and bookkeeping, that should cover the cost for all these services that I've described, but for specifically to outsource payroll, it depends on the number of employees you have. Uh, we've got a question from the chat, which is interesting. Uh, how mm -hmm. much should I be setting aside uh, for covering stat holidays, EI, WCB, and such things like that? 12%. 12%. Yeah, of that employee's wage. So if he's at 20 bucks an hour. Set aside 12%. Uh, two bucks, yeah. And that will basically cover, now, now we're we're in Canada right now. Does this, does this apply to Americans in America or is it totally different for each yep. jurisdiction? Or is that just a general guideline that everybody should do? Yeah, I mean, you got 4% vacation pay um pay yeah so government taxes that the employer has to remit is probably a little cheaper in the u.s say say another four percent there so canada a little more 12 percent u.s eight percent watch the full interview on youtube like and share it on social media and join the academy at trusted house painter and grow your painting business